What is going on y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Grey's Anatomy. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 4. Let's go. At some point during surgical residency, most interns get a sense of who they are as doctors and the kinds of surgeons they're going to become. Distinctions which do more than describe their areas of expertise. Because oh, outside personality? the operating room, not only do most surgeons have no idea who they are, they're afraid to find out. Ooh. Time me? I've been timing you. My last time was off by six seconds. What? I need more chickens. No more chickens. Okay, it's bad enough that Meredith is dating a vet. I'm not dating a chicken surgeon. Your hand is fine, and Shepard will clear you for surgery. This is he ever time. gonna be clear? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just. I'm not nervous like for myself. him. That's not for Taurus. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, ah. <laughs> you threw her out on her ass. I didn't. Not who told you that? Don't worry, I get it. She's hot, but she's not for you. Why is that? Hey! Who? Come on, wait! Before you start yelling, you were right. I bet you told Meredith how you felt, though, didn't you? And Izzy? You don't seem to have any trouble talking to them, George, but me? Let's go, people. I've been in surgery since 2 a.m. I'm in no mood. They're no cute. Cutting. No she's cutting. cute. Yang, you're late. Hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Like I was here. Callie nice a lot. of you to join us, Yang. I think I'm getting an ulcer. McDreamy and the vet are making you sick. I just need <laughs> to make a choice and get it over with. Yeah. Sean Sullivan, 62, had minimally invasive bypass surgery two days ago. To and they go. Oh, come on. What do you sell? Guys. My Shawnee could sell anything. <laughs> yeah, I believe he can. Put that oxygen back on, Mr. Sullivan, before I even think about letting you out of here. Heard nothing fried, no alcohol, and no cigarettes. I need your word, Mr. Sullivan. Or I'm not going to sign those discharge papers. I'll give you my word. Pattern breathing, squatting? Dude, squatting. Dr. Krev, how do we normally <laughs> proceed in a situation like this? Jeff and I have a natural birth plan, and Dr. Montgomery Shepard promised us I that... I promised that we would do what we can, but if your labor intensifies and the baby doesn't descend... I'm not having a C-section. A C-section is actually the safest way to... To what? Avoid a lawsuit? You all right, Dr. Gray? Yeah, Dr. Bailey. Hi, just... Awkward. Yes, 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 yes. Is that steamy? Fuck yeah, it is. No, Mr. Sullivan, don't like that! How could you be so Fucking stupid. Sure it's it's oxygen. You're in a hospital. Um, and surgeons to confront. She's gonna be alright. Yeah. Will you look after her? Oh, the chief? Mm -hmm. Chief is petty, but I love it. Chief. Chief. <laughs> you don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> I thought you were going back to New York. Why do you think I'm here? This this is why I left you. I thought you hot. left me for Derek. I left New York. Oh, holy crap, are you pregnant? <coughs> an adulterous love child goes along with an adulterous sociopath. Ooh. Uh, I finished filling out the paperwork. When do you think I can take Shawnee home? Girl, you ain't taking his so ass home any time soon. I'm not pregnant. Fever and Got a crispy ass I'm face. I'm not pregnant. You don't know who the father is, do you? You haven't had sex with a vet yet? Oh, well, you gotta get out of that relationship immediately. With McBaby. <laughs> Was I this mean to you when you were pregnant? Oh, I thought you said Baby. you were pregnant. She's not. I want you checking the fecal monitor every 30 minutes. What's the point? The baby's nowhere near where it needs to be. So if the patient wants a natural birth, it's not surgical. So why not just cut me loose and let me in on the surgery? I might actually learn something. All right, it's a little burn case. Your patient's looking out for herself. You're looking out for yourself. No, I'm not, actually. Well, maybe you should be. Go find Slow. Do whatever you want. Just get out of my face, Chris. Go! You know, I'm not saying he's a bad doctor. Uh, of course not. Listen. I'm, just, I'm saying that he's, like, a bad person. Don't. I mean, the question is, do we really want our interns learning from somebody like that? Derek, my arm. I can clear you for surgery. Really? You're sure? Yeah, absolutely. You're not having any problems, right? No. Uh, I've been doing his physical therapy with him every night, so... Can he answer He's the perfect. question? Uh, Dr. Bailey wanted to know if you still needed an intern. No, I'm fine. How's uh, Dr. Gray? Oh, she's not pregnant. <sighs> Bro, that shaky hand makes me a little nervous, though, bud. Is he? I'm meeting somebody. Anybody I know? Actually, I don't even know him. You never met? Dr. Stevens? Mr. Duquette. 
Please, call me Denny. You're a very pretty girl. Wow. What was his type? Um, Dark-haired girl, smart. Uh, oh. Well, not that you're not smart. Dr. Weber said you'd quit. And... You talk to Dr. Weber? If you don't mind, I need to hear the whole story. Mm. Dr. Sloan. Finish your face with a dressing of live cells. Oh. And that'll do it. His face will be back like it was because his face is a nice face. We'll need a neuro consult before we operate. Anything else? Bone dry cappuccino. Make it a double. Oh. You're a good friend. Okay. Dr. Gray, you've got a fever, high white count, and tenderness over McBurney's point, which suggests oh, appendicitis. appendicitis. Remembers the last time George scrubbed in on an appendectomy. He almost killed the guy. Sorry, George. I don't have to scrub it, Dr. <laughs> Bailey. I can just. Uh... You're pretty. <laughs> Not the nose scrudge. I just thought maybe we could have a late supper at the Archfield. Why would we have dinner at a hotel? Because they bring it right to your room. I still have some secrets, O'Malley. And if you come see me tonight, I just might show you one or two. Excuse me, I wasn't asking to be your resident. I was asking how my patient was doing. It's not your patient anymore. Hey, so congratulations. Oh, so I told you. McSteamy's kind of an what? asshole. What? Work your back. You're back and you're fine. What? What? They just shouldn't have cleared me. Then take a little more time, Bub. He just needs more time. You don't have it, Rebecca. He's Is done. he having late D cells? Not yet. But... Well, stop trying to scare me into an operation I told you I don't want. I'm not. I'm not going <sighs> to be one of those weak ass women who give all that up the minute things start to get scary. Just, just get out! Just get out! Get out! Ah! <laughs> So everybody's an asshole today. Since when do you get out? Never would have figured Mark Sloan to be your type. He's not supposed to be here. I can't have him here. I can't. When he's here, I'm just, I'm the woman who gets the hots for man candy <gasps> and cheats on her husband. That oh. is rude. <laughs> and completely true. Oh my God, what am I going to do? And also, you can remember <laughs> that no man. Love Miranda, bro. She is just, keeps it real, first. man. I love it. Oh, well, can I just say how much it helps that I'm on drugs right now? <laughs> okay, let's get you prepped and ready. Dr. Shepard, Dr. Finn. Now all my boys are here. They're all so <laughs> handsome. He's an excellent kisser. You two dated? You didn't know. It wasn't a date so much as a uh, disastrously uh, none of you can be here this woman is being prepped for surgery which means you all need to leave all my boyfriends are here <laughs> say goodbye dr gray i'll be here when you wake up oh my god <laughs> better than on a patient work your hand is fine right just don't worry about it you have patience i'm on call for the pit christina I, I, i'm not leaving before the surgery, he was hooked up to a machine. Called You're not it. answering my question. I'm trying. I I'm getting there. It, it was complicated in his heart. I don't give a damn about the medicine. He had a bad heart. He had a bad heart for a long time. I get that. What I don't get is how you got him to propose to you hours before he died. I'm going to recommend a night of observation in the ICU before Dr. Sloan proceeds with your surgery. I'm sure it's complicated, and I know Shawnee's sorry for lighting that smoke. He was trying to keep his word to Dr. Bailey. He told her he wasn't going to smoke when he got home, and he was just trying to keep his word. He's a salesman. That's who he is. But I'm not the only bad guy here, Derek. You and me, we're the same. Absolutely not. Addison. No fucking way. <laughs> you bellowed, Dr. Gray? Hi. You certainly are, aren't you? Are you okay? Fine. How are you? How did you know Derek was the one? Excuse me? You don't owe me anything. This is fucking awkward. Nothing. I no. could not believe she is asking her this. <laughs> but I would know if he was the one, right? You knew, right? Well, I should have let him go. I should have stepped aside. Been a better person. I should have. A lot of things. The only reason we are talking like this right now is because I know you won't remember a single word of this. 
once the drugs wear off. <laughs> don't, um, don't hurt her again. That's very big of her. Today. No, that lady kept saying no. No, no, no. Kicked her out of the room, so sorry, ma'am. You want to keep kicking me out of the room? This is why I'm not a doctor. I'm your doctor, and I am responsible for your life and your baby's life, and I'm not about to lose either one of you. Stand there forever we doing Stubborn this. ass lady. You quit your job. Because I couldn't. Four years in medical school. Now that's a whole lot of debt. How are you planning on paying that back? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about protecting my son. But where were you when he needed you? I was working 80 hour weeks, and I was still always there. I don't get how a father abandons his dying wait, son. Wait. Wait. He didn't tell you the truth. What's the truth? What's the truth? What? Still long enough to hand, test the ground. Your hand was fine. Look, I can't. You told me your hand was fine. I'm it's not fine. You want it. I want it. Damn it. Oh, the only things that I have that are of any value to me, to you. Not to me. Yes. yes, to you. You want Preston Burke. These are who I am. If I can't finish this surgery, Instead. What if I hold the vessel? If I hold the vessel, I can attach the ground. Okay, so. Nobody has to know. But, like, he knows. He knows. Look, I know you're mad at me, but Mark Sloan is the best in his field. Any surgical unit in this country would be lucky to have him. I could have left it out. I could have gone away without this. But I would have had so much baggage, so much guilt. I never would have made her happy. Not like she deserved to be happy. I was a better man for walking away. Oh, oh, on the table, keep me draped. Too many people have seen me naked already. McSteamy. McSteamy! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Haven't you heard? Now I'm an adulterous whore. Oh, that smile. Okay, clamp. Where's my coffee, Karev? Oh. I got pulled into an emergency C-section, sorry. That's too bad. I was going to let you scrub it on a real surgery if OB can spare you. See ya. Ooh. She's still in surgery. Yeah, yeah I figured I'd wait for her here. Meredith uh, tells me that you fish. Are you yeah, guys going to go mm -hmm. fishing together? I hated it. <laughs> while you talk about you your mutual girlfriend? Yeah, she died. People come through appendectomies all the time, and she'll be fine, right? You're a good guy. He's going to uh, bow out, I isn't so. he? <laughs> He's gonna so. bow out. Everybody had a had a different opinion. Everybody had a worse opinion. The thought of having to bury your own son. His mother and I, we didn't we didn't handle it very well. We thought he was dead all this time. Believe me, if I had known, I would never have let him get away with that. Wow. I worked my way through med school. You? I paid uh, off my debt. Look, I'm uh, sorry about before you. You don't have to explain. I that. do. And when I met Denny, I was going to be a surgeon. So I didn't need his money. I had everything I needed. I don't know, man. It's for you. It's from Denny. What is it? A goodbye okay. letter? Ready in to case. Go? It's always Izzy or Meredith. It's. It's never me. Am I your girlfriend? Am I somebody you mess around with? I don't have to bother figuring it out. I mean, I think she's valid in her feelings, for sure. Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan, your face may never be exactly what it was. But he's a salesman. It, okay, he might have to find something else to do. Nice face. But you know, as well as I do, it's not about what you look like or your job. It's about having people in your life that you love and who love you. So, <laughs> McSteamy is not good at the... How are you feeling? At the <sighs> mortified fluff. I was just explaining. No, it's just, I, I it's just, just, just on a really hard for yeah. me to feel Patience bad about chips. people who do stupid right shit like light a fucking cigarette in a hospital. Yeah, right. it sucks. I don't want bad things to happen to people, but like, I'm not heartbroken over somebody being so reckless. You deserve to be with somebody. Make sorry, sure not sorry. Be. He's a better guy. Meredith. Finn's the better guy. I'm walking away. Uh, the saga continues. I mean, could you have given her a couple days, though? I left a message. I just couldn't do it alone. 
Can we talk? I don't want you here, Mark. I think I've made that abundantly clear, so... So now none of the hot people are gonna bang each other? Rev. Oh! I think you're gonna miss me. I'm calling from Seattle Grace Hospital where the... the beautiful, talented, and incredibly stubborn Dr. Isabel Stevens is... She's just given me a brand new heart. I'm sorry we've been out of touch. More chicken surgery? I was trying to make everything better. I know you're angry. And I hope you'll forgive me. Yes. It's steamy, right? Yes. You must be a friend of Meredith's. Not really. <laughs> Dr. Torres. So what have you heard about me exactly? Mostly things that involve the words dirty and bad. And gorgeous. I guess there uh, really is no starting over, is there? Come by your drink, Callie. Yup, sure can. Only if you have it delivered to my hotel room, because I'm off to bed. Sometimes you have to make a big mistake. You coming? To figure out how to make things right. So what time do they yes. lose? Really, you shouldn't do that. She's gonna end it with him too? So it's Derek. I'm sorry. Can I ask why? You are a great guy. He's the one. And I wish he wasn't. He also literally just said Mistakes he's walking away. I know who I am now. I know what I want. I've got the love of my life. And I want you guys to get on the next plane out here and meet my girl. Everything's going to be different now. I promise. From here on out, nothing's ever going to be the same. Bitch! Bitch! Did that just say... Did that just say $8.7 million? <sighs> Did that just say $8.7 million to Izzy? She done cut this mother trucker's cord, cut that shit, and made him made all this happen, and he gave her eight point seven million dollars. I don't even know what to say. All I know, all I know to say is, McSteamy, I love you. He's an asshole, but I'm kind of into it. Just like Karev is an asshole, but I'm kind of into it. Callie, love her. I just love this show, man. I love all these characters. Can't wait to see what happens next. So let's just roll on over to the next one. See you then. Bye. $8.7 million.